Hey folks, it's Ray, DCRamRecord.com here. And take a in-depth review of the Lifeline slash Rad Cycling slash a whole bunch of other companies you've never heard of, Indoor Trainer Desk. Uh, now this desk isn't that unlike the Wahoo desk over there, except it's half the price and actually has more features. And look, I love the Wahoo desk. It's great. It's expensive though. It's 250 bucks. This is roughly half or less depending on which country you're in. Uh, but the thing is the Wahoo desk is five years old now. And look, I'm no big fan of direct knockoffs. And this is clearly a direct knockoff. So I think it's good to support companies that do all the engineering resources that go into designing something like this. But at the same time, when I first reviewed that desk nearly five years ago, I said there was two core things it was missing. One being wheel locks, because in the DCR cave back then in Paris, the floors weren't level and it literally rolled away. And then were two water bottle holders, because if you just simply jiggle it a little bit, the water bottle falls off and that's kind of sad. And that happens more often than you think in the middle of a hard interval, or whatever, you try to grab something and it jiggles. So this solves that and it solves wheel locks. But first, let's get to building it. Now the box it comes in is pretty straightforward and pretty bland. There's no fancy like marketing stuff that you see on the outside of it. It literally just says what lot number and stuff like that. It's super, super basic. Also note this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. They have no idea who I am, at least I don't think they are anyways. Uh, I bought this at full price myself and if I were to try to email them anyways, I had to figure out one of like the 20 different names this company goes by in different countries. And so I just simply bought it online and I'm talking about it here. Assembly is pretty straightforward. You're basically gonna take the wheels, you're gonna stick them onto the base of the frame, then you're gonna build up the two legs, and then you're gonna put the desk on top. The entire assembly shouldn't take more than like two to three minutes. In my case, I timed it as 10 minutes, but I was also taking photos and video and trying to do it on top of the unboxing table. That was a poor life choice, uh, but it's super simple and it's ready to roll. Literally, it rolls. Now, of course, it rolls front and back if you wanted to, but with the wheel locks, you can lock it in place so it doesn't go anywhere. And this one also rotates as well because on the kicker desk, it can roll front and back like this, but there is no way to go ahead and uh, rotate it out of place. That's actually useful in this particular setup where sometimes I just wanna rotate it out and, and move along its way. Also, while some people have done handstands on top of these things to demonstrate how sturdy they are, honestly, I seem like a pretty, um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna end up splicing my head on top of my bike if I try that. So I'm just gonna eat gummy bears instead. Seems safer. Okay, and a quick note, if you're finding this video interesting or useful, simply whack that like button at the bottom there. It really helps out this video and the channel quite a bit. Now the desk is height adjustable. You just simply press these two buttons right here and now it goes up or down. Uh, you'll probably put some weight on it when you go on up or down to keep it locked in place. Uh, you can see here, it's a little bit higher than I have the Wahoo Kicker Desk setup, uh, but I can go down to where I had it before the start of the video right there. Uh, one thing to keep in mind on clearance is right now, this clears it no problems uh, for the most part, just barely. So probably went a little bit higher if I was using Steerzo uh, where this was over the top of it. Uh, but again, you can kind of decide what you want there. You can also use it with a kicker climb, but you gotta be careful there as well because eventually the bike will go up and it'll push it over. So I would keep it sort of like this where you just got it just out of range. So when your handlebars go up or down, for example, uh, it's not gonna hit the desk itself. Next, the desk has two grooves on it. One is right here and one is right there. And this is for putting your tablet in there. In my case, I've been using iPads for years in the kicker desk and the same here for this desk. It also has little holes in the bottom. You can technically thread like a lightning adapter through it if you wanted to. Um, I haven't really bothered. I just kind of drag them off the side and usually go through the towel holders actually to keep things a little more secure. Uh, it's also useful if you spill water or whatever, it'll just drain out the bottom as opposed to making a swimming pool in front of you there. Next there are the water bottle holders. As you saw, uh, these also have little holes at the bottom of them, uh, or you can use them as a snack holder, which frankly seems like an even better, you know, distribution of your nutrition strategy here. And of course, not every trainer ride is gonna require like three water bottles or whatever, but there are many people doing very long trainer rides and having all your nutrition on top of the table and not going to fall off when you shake it is kind of handy as well. For the most part for me, I tend to leave water bottles up here, nutrition up here, uh, Apple TV remote, which they usually use for uh, doing Zwift. I have the iPad, which I usually use for doing trainer road. Uh, and I put my phone up there as well. And then sometimes I've got uh, a lightning or USB-C charging cable for charging things, usually just strung up a side and then done a single loop in the towel holder there. Speaking of the towel holders, uh, there are two towel holders on the back right there. Uh, they are a little bit bigger than the kicker desk one, which makes it a little bit easier to stick the towel in there. 
but I find realistically, once I'm on the bike, I don't really want my towel back there, I want it on my handlebars. So that's more of like a looking pretty sort of thing when I'm not riding the bike. Now, one last notable thing is that on the fan down there, the Wahoo Headwind fan, if you do have the Wahoo Headwind fan, it's actually designed to go directly over the bar of the front of the kicker desk and sort of sit there nice and tidy. On the this desk, it's a little bit high, so it looks a little bit awkward. Uh, that said, though, I don't usually like putting it in either position there because all it does is just simply cool your crotch. Like, literally, it's just a fan straight at your crotch, which isn't where I personally prefer to be cooled on a, on a hot indoor trainer ride. So I usually set it off the side. I move this desk a little bit more off, out of the way and then put it a little bit further aside there. So let me get my complete list here of differences between these two. because I wrote all these down here uh, and there's a ton of tiny little differences. Uh, by the way, this is also great for a laptop. This is a pretty big laptop, but you can see it sits it just fine. Uh, so number one difference, the major of the two differences being that the Lifeline desk has two water bottle holders or a gummy bear holder and a water bottle holder. The kicker desk has none. The Lifeline Rad Cycling Desk has two wheel locks on both of those two wheels. The front one does not have a wheel lock, but you don't really need it there. The Kicker Desk has none. The Lifeline Desk has slightly larger towel holes. The Kicker Desk has towel holes, but there's nothing really wrong with either set for the most part. The Kicker Desk has better wheels, I would say. Like, they're definitely like a nicer rollerblady looking wheel. I'm not a rollerblader per se, but I would guess that those are much nicer wheels than these ones. Practically speaking, that doesn't really matter. I prefer wheel locks over sexier looking wheels. As noted, the Wahoo desk does fit the headwind fan perfectly if you like it in that position. Also, as you can see down that same general area, the Wahoo's desk's base looks prettier. Uh, looks, you know, it's clearly a more rounded uh, metal versus down on this desk. It's a little bit more non-industrial pretty, if you will. As noted, the wheels on the Lifeline desk do rotate, allowing you to move it out of tight spaces uh, pretty easily, whereas the Wahoo desk just goes front and back. Um, the textured surface on both of them is identical. It is a textured surface, so uh, it's not on slip, it's just kind of nice things aren't going to slide away there. Um, the tablet holder situation, best I can tell, is identical for both of them, uh, meaning it fits tablets just fine. It will not fit my phone though, so like I can't put my phone in there and I can't put my phone in here either with a case on it. Uh, so without a case, no problem of course, but with a case, not so much. The usable surface area is virtually identical on both. You lose a tiny bit um, because of the water bottle holders on the Lifeline desk, but there's way more surface area that I know what to do with anyway, so it's, it's pretty much a wash there. And then min-max height adjustment uh, it seems identical on both. In the case of my kicker desk, I had to permanently screw the screws in years ago, so I can't adjust it any higher to validate that, but my understanding is it should be the same on both of them. So there you go. I'm pretty happy with this knockoff desk. Again, for saving half the price, you can get two of them for the price of, of that. Um, there's nothing wrong with the kicker desk. I love where Wahoo innovated in that category, but I think five years on, it's, it's probably time to innovate a bit more. I would love to see uh, power USB ports added in this. We saw Ceres do that with their TD1 desk, and I've actually got that just behind the camera to unbox and get started on that. They've got two USB ports and two regular power ports. Uh, so that's kind of the direction I would like to see here, at least the USB ports. I think that's probably the biggest one. It'd be great to see like a couple of USB-C would be nice, maybe a couple of just kind of regular USB, uh, USB-A I think it is. Okay, there you go, a complete look at the Lifeline slash Rad slash Conquer slash PPWare. That's actually the name of one of the companies, by the way, if you buy it in Germany, it's called the PPWare desk. Uh, it's a horrible name. Uh, but nonetheless, that's the review of that. Um, again, as I said earlier, I bought it myself and I'll probably actually buy another one for a home, to be honest. I use most of my indoor training stuff here at the studio, but I like it. It's been working great for me. Anyways, if you found this video interesting, whack that like button at the bottom there or hit the subscribe button for plenty more sports technology goodness. Got a bunch of good stuff coming up on uh, GoPro and then also on indoor training with the Watt Bike Adam 2020 in-depth trainer smart bike review. It's sitting right there. So, uh, Hang tight on that one. Have a good one.